In this tutorial, we will post-process the data of the lid-driven cavity flow of the previous tutorial. First, we have to convert the open foam results to an insight readable directory. The insight file will be renamed to insight run. In WinSCP, we will now copy the insight run directory to the cavity directory on our desktop computer. I have already opened the insight run file. Now, we will visualize the pressure and velocity field. Therefore, we will insert a clip plane. The clip plane will be inserted in the Z direction. You can see that the clip plane has been created. We will now smooth out the field. Firstly, we have to select all patches of case 1. This can be done by clicking on case 1. Next, I will click on the calculator icon. The calculator toolbox has appeared. We would like to convert the elements to nodes, which can be done by a predefined function. We will now scroll down to this predefined function. We would like to smooth out the velocity field. Therefore, the predefined function parameter should be changed to velocity. We will change the variable name to velocity. The previous steps could be also repeated for the pressure fields. The next step is to change the color of the plane to the smoothed velocity field. I will select the clip plane. The clip plane is now colored by the smoothed velocity field. On the right hand side, the legend is shown. Now, we will add some streamlines. Streamlines can be created by clicking on the particle traces icon. Check that the variable is set to velocity. Check that the trace lines are restricted to the surface. The streamlines will be created in positive and negative direction. By clicking on the clip plane, streamlines will be created. The thickness of the streamlines are 1 pixel. We will change it to 3 pixels. Finally, we will add velocity vectors to the streamlines. We need to highlight the clip plane and select the vector arrows icon. We will change the type of the vectors to fixed rectangular. By ticking the advanced checkbox, more options will be visible. The projection of the vectors will be set to tangential.
the size of the arrow tip will be fixed to 0 0.003. The vectors can be created. The vector arrows can be seen now. We will change its color to the color of the velocity. The figure looks a bit messy now. Therefore, we will turn off the visibility of the particle traces. This is the end of the tutorial on the post processing of a simple simulation in OpenFoam. In the next tutorial, we will increase the accuracy of the simulation by increasing the mesh resolution.